Okay, now it's time to take just a brief look at something called middleware. And if you've ever used uh, a framework like Express before, you'll be pretty familiar with how middleware works. But for those others that may not have used it before, you can think of middleware as sort of a what happens between the point when a request is re a request is received and a response is sent from our API. So the middleware comes right in the middle and you can use middleware to do any number of things to check authorization to make sure that uh, or authentication to make sure that a user actually has the uh, privileges to access your application. You can use middleware to do all sorts of things. In our case, we'll use it to find our customers before we try to update uh, to show them or to delete them. So you recall from our uh, customer controller, I'll jump over there real quick, you'll see that we're finding a customer three times before we proceed with a save or a delete and that gets pretty tedious and very repetitive in our code right here. So we'll use middleware to gather that find and uh, 404 handling code. We'll, we'll put that in one place in a piece of middleware and that way we don't have to repeat it so many times here in our controller. Now to start off with middleware, uh, there's two th there's a, a distinction we have to make quickly before global middleware and named middleware. So if you go to global middleware, this is middleware that will be called on every single request. And obviously we don't want that. We only want to uh, execute the find customer middleware when we actually need to find a customer, of course. So we'll be using the named middleware. Uh, let's create our file first. We can use Adonis make. If you run Adonis, clear this, I was practicing before. Adonis make middleware and we'll call this the find customer middleware enter and it'll ask if this is for HTTP requests or WebSocket requests we just want it for HTTP and then we have it up here now under our middleware directory within the app directory so there's our middleware and what happens is on every request that we hook this up to the handle function will be called we'll get to do what we want and either continue on with the request and send it to our controller methods to handle it there or we'll stop it and send uh, some other other sort of message or throw an error or something like that so uh, we'll start with that now we have to wire this up as well so going back to our named middleware object I will make another entry we'll call this the find customer middleware and this will reference the app uh, slash middleware slash uh, find customer file and then which routes do I want to use this on? I have to wire it up for each individual route. So we need this on our routes that use the ID to find a customer. So you simply, on the end here, you chain the method middleware and you pass in a, uh, it accepts a, um, an array. And in the array, you just simply put the name of the middleware that you'll be using. So we have that there. We have it on update, we have it on delete. Okay, let's go back here. And for now, I just want to log out uh, something to the console so you can see that the middleware is firing on the proper the proper routes. Uh, middleware fired. There we go. So let's make sure our server is running. Good. Go back to Postman. Now it's playing around a little bit, so the IDs of my uh, entries for customers are different than yours at this point probably. So pay no attention to that. Uh, let's see, we'll get all of our customers. And that was successful, but we'll hop back to our console and we don't have that message logged, which is exactly what we wanted. Now let's get our customer, in my case, ID seven. That was successful and here, middleware fired. So that worked and we'll see on the update and the delete, it'll work the same way. I don't wanna fire those just yet though. So what do we actually want to put here? Let's go to our customer controller and what we want to do is rip out uh, the find. This, this kind of, this code that we're repeating over and over again, finding a customer and sending back a 404 if we don't find that customer. So I'll grab this and go to our middleware, find customer. Pull in our customer. Of course, I'm using the customer model, so I have to import it up here app models slash customer and if we don't find our customer 
then I'll have to send back a response. Now, of course, I have to pull out my response object and my parameters to get the ID for the customer that we're looking for. So if we don't have that customer, I want to return this response so with status 404 with the message customer not found. And I'll send back the ID. So we're returning here because I want to stop the request at this point. I don't want the function to get down to the next call. Once next is called, then that means everything's okay and we'll continue on with the request. And at this point in our setup, the customer controller will then take over. And we don't want to get that far if we don't find the customer. Now, if we do find the customer, we have already found them. We don't want to look for that customer again in the controller. So we'll add that customer to the request body and then the customer controller can just uh, take it off the body at that point. We don't have to ding the database to find them again. So we'll do request dot body dot customer, let's say equals the customer. And then at that point next will be called and if you jump over to your controller, now the customer will be on the request object. So we'll pull out the request object. And actually we can, yeah, do request.customer, oh, sorry, body. We get the body with post, and we'll call the customer like that. And we can just send this. We can delete all this. And we just return our 200 response right there. So let's jump over to Postman and make sure that we're still getting our customer. So we'll get our customer seven and there's our customer. So we got the customer successfully on the request body at this point. So if you don't believe me, we'll throw a debugger statement in here just to inspect what we're actually getting. Uh, is it working? Yep. And we'll send a request again. Should pause right there. So we'll see our customer is that uh, customer object, that model object that we were looking at before. This is the exact same thing. So even from here, now that we've found the customer, we can continue to call save, we can do delete, we can do all of that stuff. So let's jump down to update and delete and we'll do the same thing. It will grab our customer this way. So down here, we don't need to find anymore. Uh, we can still use the request post um, uh, function right here. Now, instead of just calling out the name and the description from the, uh, the uh, info that's being passed up to do the update with, we can also pull off our customer model, okay? So we have our customer model. We don't need this if statement, so I can pull all this out. Place it there. We update our name and our description, and then we save the updates and then we just send it back in our response once that is done. So that's a lot cleaner right there. Uh, same thing down here with the delete. Delete, we have our customer on our request object, our post or body object rather. And we can just skip right ahead with the delete now. So await customer delete. So that's much faster. So let's go over to Postman and we'll test this out. Uh, once again, let's get our customer. We have Peter Parker there. Let's update Peter. Just change his description. Good, that's updated. Let's get him again just to make sure. Yes, now let's delete him. Delete seven. Oh, let's see, request is not to find. Ah, I forgot to pull it out here. There we go, so I need the request object right there. Let's get him, make sure he's still there. Oops. Okay, Peter's still there. Now we'll delete him. And he successfully deleted. Now let's get all of our customers and it should be empty. There we go. So that works and you can see, taking another look at our controller, we have a lot less code. It's kind of nice not seeing those 
if found 404 uh, checks. This is a lot nicer. And of course, now that it's in the middleware, we can of course reuse that on many different routes, uh, which is definitely handy. So take a good look at that. If you have any questions about that using middleware uh, in this case or in general, please uh, put a comment down below. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff is important. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.